My name is Paul Marcello, and I'm the principal trumpet of the Montreal Symphony Orchestra. The opening solo of Mahler's Fifth Symphony is one of the most dramatic and powerful in all of our repertoire. Mahler stated that the upbeat theme of the triplet must constantly be somewhat rushed quasi accelerando like a military fanfare. So that goes for the entire movement, not just the opening triplets. I prefer to think of it in six, eight time. One, two, three, four, five, da 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 da, two, three, four, five, da 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 da. To keep consistency in the triplets, and to always give direction to the half note. Mahler also wrote that sometimes what's most interesting in music is found between the notes in the silence. So try and build suspense between the opening triplets, the quarter rest, and the proceeding triplets. This will get, give a sense of direction, but also suspense in the phrasing. If you carefully study all of Mahler's markings and all of his symphonies, there really should be no question as to how to interpret his music. Mussorgsky was inspired by his friend Victor Hartmann, a great Russian artist, to compose pictures in an exhibition. Sadly, Hartmann died suddenly of an aneurysm, and it was at his memorial service where many of his works were presented. It is in this context that Mussorgsky strolled amongst his works in great admiration, but also in sadness. Think of this solo as lyrical and soulful, as well as proud and with purpose. The note lengths can vary, but I like to think of them long with accent. Work on your sound and intonation and rhythm. In particular, watch the breath after the 11th beat so that you don't lose time getting into the proceeding phrase. The trumpet calls in Leonore III by Beethoven represent a celebration of freedom. Floriston, the main character, was unjustly imprisoned and ultimately rescued by his wife, Leonora, who convinced the minister to pardon him. So rather than think of this as a call to arms, I, ref I prefer to think of it as a celebration fanfare, brilliant, articulate, and noble. It's easy to overblow, so practice a relaxed forte with clean, consistent articulation on each note think horizontally with good diaphragmatic support throughout. Also, practice your long tones working from forte to piano with a good taper at the end and keeping the intonation stable throughout.
The second movement of Pines of Rome is in the catacombs. I think of an image of the shadows of the pine trees cast across the catacombs in a very reverberant acoustic. Try and sing through all of the notes and avoid pushing or pulsing between the notes, what I would call the wah-wah effect. This creates unnecessary verticality and can adversely affect the phrasing. Express yourself while letting your sound float easily into the hall. Never force the resonance, but rather search for the core resonance of your sound and really think of the phrasing and the direction of your phrase to give you the proper musical story here. In the story of Petrushka, there is a scene where the charlatan places the ballerina puppet in the Moor's room. The ballerina is intrigued by the Moor and plays a toy trumpet sardonically to get his attention. The character of this solo should be played brilliantly, playful, and proud with character. In the 1911 version, there are no dynamic differences, whereas in the 1947 version, there's a distinct difference between mezzo forte and piano. I imagine the ballerina puppet jumping up and down on the mezzo forte, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, and twirling all around in the piano. Have fun and think horizontally to keep your sound consistent, even, and make music and phrase here. Ultimately, what gives success in an audition is the interpretation of the music. We have to work tirelessly on our technique, but technique is not the end game. The music is the end game. We don't play an instrument that's sometimes musical. We play a musical instrument. So as much as, as you want to work on your technique and the details and all the nuts and bolts to make these excerpts quote unquote perfect, keep in mind always that you have to have some storytelling and some imagery behind every interpretation that you bring to each one of these wonderful compositions. I hope that my playing and my comments help you a little bit in your preparation to be successful at your next audition. Good luck.